Hi there guys, Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Uh, today I'm showing you around something a little bit different. Um, looks like a like seven and a half ton box track and indeed that is what it started life as. However, this is actually, as it says on the front, a camper conversion. So that 54 plate DAF. It's, I think it's about a four liter engine in these. It's a DAF 45. So it's a still seven and a half ton this is. So just to clarify, you do need a class C on your driving license, which allows you to drive up to seven and a half ton. If you passed your test before, I think January 1987, you will automatically have that. But if you pass this test, uh, your test after 97, um, you would need to sit a test to be able to drive this vehicle. That is up for debate at the moment. They're talking about getting rid of that test. So there is a chance that that might change in the near future. But as it stands right now at this present moment, and uh, when I'm filming this, it's uh, it's the case that you would need to do that. So, just take you around the vehicle, show you the good, the bad and the ugly on it. It's actually belonged to a good friend of mine this vehicle has. Uh, it's been uh, used by them for about two years. They bought it during the first lockdown. Um, it's in very, very good condition. It's not been cleaned today or anything like that, so it's uh, it probably could do with a little bit of a jack wash on the outside, which we will be doing on it, but really this vehicle's all about the inside and the conversion that's been done on it. Um, the only one thing I want to point out to any potential buyer is that, as you can see on the top, the chimney has actually been damaged very slightly on it. It's, uh, it was unfortunately clipped when it was going into a roller shutter door in the unit. Um, it does still work. It does still do exactly what it's supposed to do. It just, uh, has got a slight dent in it, as you can see, um, and a little bit of damage, but doesn't really affect its use at all. So, um... The vehicle to drive, I won't take you in the cab, it's quite boring really. It's got electric windows, it's normal locking on it though, it's not central locking or anything like that. Um, it's a 24 volt electrics on these vehicles and it's a five speed manual gearbox on it. It does uh, drive extremely well um, as trucks go. Um, it has got a taco on it, but you don't you don't need to use the taco essentially to drive it because it's registered as a private vehicle. It's only if you use commercial that you've got to use the taco, but it has still got a taco on it. Um, but you know it, it, they're quite easy to drive these vehicles now once you get used to their size it's got power steering uh, and it's a conventional five-speed manual gearbox on them um, let's show you the the interior of it because that's really what it's all about now this vehicle has got two ways of getting in you have got a side door here as you can see it's quite high up but there's a ladder inside to get in uh, on that but what you can use is this tail lift on the back it's got switches by here um, to work the tail lift up and down uh, and it's also got a switch inside which we will use in a second so I literally just step on to the tail lift it does make a little noise like that because it's, it's actually uh, designed to fold into the vehicle slightly as you can see I've got a door by here I've got a door there which uh, has got some gas bottles stored in it um, obviously uh, it, it's actually got two gas bottles in it at the moment this, this has it's got a gas powered fridge in it gas powered stove and uh, Let's just show you how it works. There's a switch in here. I can just raise myself up, like so. I'll, I'll just leave it by there because I don't need to come all the way up. I'm going to step inside. You can, as well, leave that pretty much in the middle position and you're able to just step off it, which is quite nice. Um, so you can just sort of wander in and out. But with it up like that, you've kind of got a deck area where you can put your chairs out and sort of enjoy a glass of Prosecco in the evening, which is very nice indeed. Got a bit of storage here, first of all, to show you. I've got a, uh, a filing cabinet by here. Um, that's the ladder there on the back of the door, which you use to get it up and down if you were if you were doing that. And I've got some light switches by here, which put on the uh, the LED lights, which are throughout the vehicle. I've got some storage in the filing cabinet. I've also got in here all the electrics for the the vehicle. It's got uh, a converter here for um, for the for the sort of DC electrics. You can run. Um, 240 volts in this vehicle um, so you can run your laptop uh, you can run your phone chargers and stuff off a conventional plug uh, it has got usbs as well it won't go quite as far as a hairdryer um, but you have got a mains hookup if you want to but this vehicle is all designed to wild camp the person who designed this vehicle was actually using it to live in uh, he was a ski instructor up the alps so believe it or not this vehicle's been designed with that in mind. So I've got nice little switches here for the electrics. 
I come into the main living area of the vehicle. As you can see, it's really big. I mean, these are a big truck and I've got two double beds in front of me. The bottom one's actually a king size bed. Um, I've got two reclining chairs here. Um, these can be moved out onto that deck if you wish to. They are uh, fully reclining and they've got little steps behind them. So when they sit in place, they won't move about when you're driving the vehicle. I'll put some more lights on to show you. So as you can see, we've got lighting all around the vehicle here. There is also um, some lighting around the outer edge there of the uh, of that. I just need to work out where the switch is for that. I'll put that on in a second anyway. It has got some LED lighting underneath the seating area there as well, which is very nice indeed. Um, I don't think that's actually relating to anything that's left in the car. So show you this area here first off. Yes, it's a bed. It's the one that I probably would use as the as the main bed because you'd have to get a ladder to go on that one, which we have got, as you know. But uh, this is a really sturdy bed, but it converts into a dining area with a table. So essentially, underneath here, you have a piece that raises up, becomes a table. There is a storage area under here and also an awning which is stored under there at the moment, which fits on the side. I'll show you the side rail when we go outside. Underneath, you have a little mount for the table to sit on when it's a table. And the, the back there is actually the uh, vents for the heating system, because this vehicle has got full heating, controlled by this device here. So we can put it on to uh, switch it on using that mode there, and we can control the blower and the temperature on that. It can blow hot or cold air uh, according to how you want it. We've got proper plugs, which have got USB chargers on them. We've got, we can run those plugs as well off either the 24 volt electrics that this vehicle's got, or if you if you wish to use them, we have got, as I say, a, uh, an electric hookup for the vehicle as well. So we've got a leisure battery on it as well. Ah, there's the switch I wanted. That puts the lights on in there. How cool is that? So that can be your bed or your dining area, according to what you want. And then we've got another bed on top. Again, you've got plug sockets for both, so you can charge your phones wherever you are. Really, really cool. This here as well has got a couple of extra switches for, let me show you, the battery voltages. So I've seen that's a 24 volt battery there, so it's 25 volts in it at the moment. And then we've got another one there for the 12 volt battery. So, my friends have used this vehicle and packed it up for three days or more. Uh, just run it on its leisure batteries, but you can hook it up. It has got wires to hook up to a uh, to a mains if you wish to do so. So taking you along here, we have got the kitchen. Uh, this part here opens up and we've got storage inside. These are actually IKEA units and trays. Work really, really well, plenty of storage space. Bearing in mind, all that area there is also storage. So there's loads of room for storage in this van. You can literally live in it. So I'll put that back up. Then here we have got a fridge which runs on gas or um, all the electric. Let's find the switch for it. Let's just pull it off, sorry. We will put that back on. I'm doing it wrong, obviously. There is a fridge there. It does run on gas. I'm not gonna mess around with it too much because I don't wanna break it. Um, gas hobs, sink. Inside, um, I think one of these cupboards here, could be this one. More storage again. We've got spare wiper blades. We've got fire, fire blankets in there. So much room in this vehicle, and we've got hooks everywhere for your stuff. Obviously, fire extinguisher there as well. It literally, as I say, was designed to be lived in. This this vehicle was so. That's the the amazing thing about it. And in this one here, which I showed you briefly earlier, you've got a water pump which you can switch on, and that will do you obviously your water in the uh, in the, the the sink there, but also the toilet, which I'll show you in just a moment. And we have got a DC converter for the electrics as well. 
the blue thing at the top that's actually the water tank so we have got obviously cold water for the uh for the sink but we've also got a toilet in here as well cassette toilet i'll show you that in just a second so it's coming to this one here have a little switch there for the light now we have got a toilet as you can see um it's a normal cassette toilet which you get on these motorhomes we've got a sink as well and we've also got a shower okay now onto the one negative part of the interior of this vehicle is that at the moment the shower tray needs sorting out on it um, i'm going to get that redone it will be done in vinyl um, but obviously we've taken the tray up at the moment because it was damaged so please bear in mind if you're viewing the vehicle i'm getting that done uh, prior to the vehicle going out but it's a really nice uh, sort of bathroom area it's essentially a wet room which you've got inside the vehicle so let's put these down it's just a really cool place to kick back and relax in here but my favorite aspect of all is the log burner so this um log burner even though the vehicle has got the electric heating which i showed you already we have got this log burner in here this i am told heats this thing up even in the winter in 10 minutes um it's a really really good log burning stove um as I did say, it was designed to be used in the Alps, and obviously it's fairly colder. So that's why you've got this amazing sort of setup in it. It really does feel like home from home in here. Um, it, to be honest, I could happily live in this space. Uh, and I've, I've got a camper van myself, and it's nowhere near the size of this one. But um, it, it makes such a big difference having this 7.5 tonne uh, box truck as your base because you know you can stand up in here it's full height um it's really really well laid out and you know you can you have got your bed in place all the time you've still got your seats you can use there's actually plenty of space in it it does feel um very very proper indeed and you've got the added benefit as well you've got a shower you've got a toilet so you can actually wild camp with this thing the fact that you've got the 24 volt electrics in this vehicle mean that you can pretty much wild camp it anywhere um for a few days it, it basically will recharge itself when you drive it um the fact that you've got the log burning stove in here as well it, it just gives it so much practicality where you could literally use this vehicle stop off for a few days drive it on recharge the batteries just do it again without ever having to link into the mains so that's a massive massive bonus of this vehicle compared to any other camper that you will see and it's been custom done it's a one-off design um it's been done properly as well um, it's very hard to show you everything that this vehicle will do on here because obviously we're, we are showing you uh, on a mobile phone. It's just me here at the moment. But that's, if you can imagine, there will be photos accompanying this advert with that set up as a dining area. I think it looks amazing as the double bed as well. And it's just a very, very comfy place to be. I can just literally jump in here and just relax. <laughs> and I've got my deck at the back. So if I wish to uh, sort of sprawl out and just chill, I can do that. It's a really hot day today, and it's actually where it's quite stuffy in the car. It doesn't feel so in here because I've got this massive um, sort of, you know, space because it's, you know, a reasonably big vehicle. It's got opening windows as well. We've got three windows in this main compartment here, and there's ventilation for the bathroom as well. It's quite freshly painted, wooden floors. Um, also sort of got a sort of tongue and groove effect on the walls and the ceiling. All the paint's in very good condition and that behind the gas stove there is an actual uh, purpose-built sort of heat resistant uh, metal which we've also got by there on the uh, on the electric stove blinds are like the ones you've got in your house pretty easy to use the whole thing's just well put together well converted a literal home from home hopefully so i hope that's of interest to you um this vehicle is up for sale i mean it's certainly from my point of view really comfy sort of quirky camper i'll just quickly put this tail lift down and show you the outside a bit more
But yeah, there you have it. We've got six wheels, two at the back, obviously, on each jack, on each side, one at the front. And the vehicle's in very good order. It was recently MOT'd. Body works in excellent condition. And as you can see on the side there, hopefully it's got an awning rail on there as well, which has been put on quite recently. And the awning is inside, but it's never really been used. It's a basic awning, just two, um, two poles essentially with some fabric, but it just provides you a little bit of extra space to sit outside the vehicle. But yeah, great fun to own and literally something that you can while camping all year round because of that gas stove that it's got and the, the also the uh, the log burning stove so if it's of interest to you give me a call 07932 873646 very interested to see people's views on these quirky campers obviously there are a lot of people who rent these out um so it could be a business opportunity for someone but I mean, what a vehicle, if you've got the space to store this in your drive, you could go away for the weekends. If you work from home, you could literally work from the vehicle. The chaps that I uh, were friends, I'm friends with have been using this vehicle to work from. They've been going out with their laptops because they work from home, they're able to work from the van. And, you know, you can literally go anywhere in the country. Um, it's, it's such a versatile vehicle, this. It really doesn't go, um, you know, the sky's the limit of what you can do with it. And it's fairly easy to drive, obviously, just please let us know uh, if you've got any queries on that side of things. But if you passed your test after um, January 1997, you will have had to do an additional test as it stands at the moment. So my number one more time is 07932873646. And please give us a like, subscribe to our channel and uh, let us know your thoughts on these quirky campers. Is this something that you would prefer having had vws in the past myself um this is real luxury for me um i've sort of had a, a few vw t5s and a couple of Renault traffics but never any as big as this but i am licensed to drive it and i am considering using this vehicle myself for a little trip if it doesn't sell um but i really think this will make a great great vehicle for someone to potentially even live in for part of the time one more time, my number 07932873646. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Please feel free to give me a call if you've got any queries for this vehicle. It is um, impossible to show you everything that it's got on it on this video with me being here on my own at the moment. I will probably do a few follow-up videos with the vehicle. And if we take it on a camping trip, we'll probably do a few more videos of us using it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.